Hello stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabump.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I am so happy and honored to be your guest tutorialist today for the Split Coast Stampers weekly video. I'm going to be showing you a really nice and easy fun fold that you can use with just about any type of embossing folder or designer series paper and even punches or dies. Let's flip the camera around and get started. I'm going to be featuring the Country Club suite of products by Stampin' Up! today for the cards that I'm making, but like I said, you can use any stamp sets, any designer series papers, any embossing folders to make this very easy fun fold. I'm going to bring in my bits and pieces. You're also going to find all of the dimensions for these different layers in the written instructions. Now I've got the Country Club designer series paper here. Any one of these patterns would work for this card. I chose to use this one. This piece is three by four inches. Then I've got a piece of Whisper White that is the same size. A black scrap, a Whisper White scrap, a layer of Crushed Curry, which is one of the coordinating colors in this suite. This is five and a quarter by four. And I've got an envelope and a piece of designer paper that's two and a half by six. My card base is going to be Poppy Parade, and I thought it would be helpful to show you how I cut this to get the most out of your layer of or your piece of cardstock. So I'm going to bring in my stamp and trimmer here, and I'm going to cut at five and a half inches. And then we're going to cut this at four and a quarter. This is going to be the base of my card. You can use this to make another card. We're going to take this piece and we're going to cut it at three and a quarter. So the next layer needs to be three and a quarter by eight and a half. This is the layer you're going to score and you're going to score it at four and a quarter. All right, these other two pieces we can use for the scraps that we're going to need, or like I said, you can start another card with this one. This piece we're going to take and fold on that score line. You wanna burnish it good with your bone folder. I'm going to bring this layer in and we're going to emboss it. I chose the Argyle embossing folder and that is part of the Country Club suite. This is also one of the new 3D embossing folders. So I'm going to put this in the folder and use the blue cutting plate on top of it. This is a really nice embossing folder for, especially for your masculine cards. I really like this pattern. We also have a little bit of die cutting to do. So I'm gonna bring in my thin die adapter and two cutting plates. Whisper White Scrap. and the Crushed Curry Scrap. Now, this particular stamp set has this really neat golf ball and also this tee, but you can see that there's a bunch of other really neat elements, golf clubs, we've got um, the flag, we've got some smaller golf balls, an emblem, this image, some grass, and a full-size golfer, as well as a couple label dies. Once I have these die cut, we're just going to set those aside for a minute. We have just a little bit of stamping to do. I'm going to bring in my piercing mat. This is what I like to stamp on. It's the surface of choice for me. I've got Memento Black ink here and also Poppy Parade. The Happy Birthday is going to be stamped on the Whisper White Scrap. In Poppy Parade ink and then the three by four inch whisper white layer we're going to decorate for the inside of our card. I've got the inside sentiment again in Poppy Parade 
and that little hole flag in the memento. There is a couple banners dies in here. So I'm going to add this banner die to my happy birthday. I'm gonna die cut that I'll be right back. We just have a couple things we need to punch. And I'm going to see, got my black punch here. This is a two inch circle punch. And also the starburst punch. And I don't know if this is, yep, this looks like it's just gonna fit on that leftover scrap of Poppy Parade. My choice of glue is, or adhesive I should say, is our liquid glue. I love the liquid glue. It gives you a little bit of wiggle room so you can move things around if you need to. Then I'm gonna bring the golf ball in and pop that up. Make sure I have the right side here. Pop that up on some dimensionals. My gosh, sometimes those are so hard to get off, right? Here comes our golf ball. I'm going to add the crushed curry Whoops, T. Just to my golf ball. I just want it to be kind of an element on here. Then we've got our happy birthday. I'm gonna bring in a mini dimensional. Now I'm only gonna put a mini dimensional on one side and it goes kind of right behind the peas on the happy. And then we're gonna put a little bit of glue Hang on, I have a little glue dot there. A little bit of glue on this other side. Take the backing off of that. And we're gonna put this in here. Oops, I don't think I have my dimensional far enough away there. So maybe it's a better idea to put my dimensional right here. Oops, maybe. Maybe it's better to grab a new dimensional. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they're not very cooperative, are they? if I can get that place right. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna tip it this way a little bit. Now we've got that glue on there. And I'm just gonna add my birthday banner right in here. It's just kind of an interesting look. Now we're gonna take a couple more dimensionals, add those to this side on the back. And we are ready to assemble our card. So that four and a quarter by five and a half inch layer is going to have the embossed layer put on it. Now, if you don't have an embossing machine or you would rather not emboss something, you can certainly use a layer of designer series paper here. And that works just as well. I do have some other cards to show you that use designer series paper. Lots of different things you can do with this layout, and I think that's why I love it so much. Here comes our scored layer. I'm gonna put that right here. It just goes right on the front. I've kept it about mm, three quarters to an inch away from the left side. And make sure you have it matching up at the top there. This was the layer that I chose for the front of my panel. And that's gonna fit right in here. And again, I just drew from the colors in this paper to come up with this card. Now, the thing that I'm looking at most is that my happy birthday is straight on here. And I just want it to kind of pop off the edge a little bit, just like this. Now we have this cool panel that opens up and that's where our inside greeting goes in here. There we go. Last but not least, one of my favorite things about Stampin' Up! Sweets is that you get all this coordinating product. So we have all these Baker's Twine colors that match the Country Club Designer Series paper. So I'm just gonna take a little bit, let's see if I can tie a knot, a little bit of the black Baker's Twine. And if this, if this card was for one of my 
female friends, I would probably put a bow on it. But because I'm making it for a man, I don't want to put a bow on it. I'm just going to tie a knot with that baker's twine. And it just adds a little bit of interest to the top there. And last but not least, I always like to decorate my envelopes. I just think there's something fun about opening up your mailbox and finding something colorful in it. And I love the co color coordination. So this was my two and a half by six inch piece of designer paper. I just put some glue on my envelope flap and now I'm just gonna come in here from the back side and trim around that edge of the envelope flap. This is super easy. And it really, I think, carries a big wow. Isn't that fun? Okay, so we've got our very cool masculine birthday card. This is a fun fold. Let's see the other ones that I made. This one I made with some of the other designer series paper. I've pretty much got the same layout going here and I stamped that large golfer image in crushed curry. I stamped that off one time to make it a little bit lighter, but I thought that was really cool in the background. Again, this is the same layout as the card I just showed you. I've got my decorated envelope flap here. And then this one, I decided to use that really neat navy, Knight of Navy background paper. These are the wooden elements that are part of the suite of products, and I glued them on with mini glue dots. And matching envelope, I stamped one of the images on there and again, put some designer series paper on that flap. So here's three great masculine cards made with this fun layout. I absolutely love this. And as you can see, this one that we made is um, a little bit wider than this one. So you can make them any width that you wanted, any width that's gonna work for the type of card or designer series paper that you have. I hope you'll give these a chance and make some of these because they're just really cool and they do stand up for display. So that little um, front panel will prop them up nicely. They're a lot of fun and they're very easy. If you'd like to see more stamping ideas, I have a bunch of videos and tutorials on my blog at astampabove.com. You can check that out anytime you'd like. And thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend it with me. Bye-bye.